Happy Easter! Since we are not able to celebrate the traditional Easter egg roll on the grounds of the White House this year, I want to take a moment to wish everyone a happy Easter and read one of my favorite children's books, The Little Rabbit by Nicola Killen. Ollie and her toy bunny had been waiting for the rain to stop for a long, long time. At last they had arrived. They rushed to get ready. There were so many paddles outside to splash in. Ollie spotted the perfect paddle right away, but before she could jump in, whoosh! A sudden breeze whistled past, bringing a cloud of blossom with it. Does it tickle, Bunny? Ollie laughed. A tiny paddle had landed on his nose. Bunny didn't answer, but his nose began to twitch. Ollie thought she must have imagined it, but when she looked again, Bunny's ears were moving too. Suddenly, he sprang from the basket towards a group of rabbits playing chase. Wait for me, Ollie cried. But the rabbits had soon reached out of sight. Bunny, Ollie called softly. Bunny, where are you? Her voice grew louder and louder as she searched and searched, but she couldn't find him. Ollie was so worried she didn't notice the dark clouds gathering overhead. Just as she was wondering if she would ever see Bunny again, Ollie spotted something and gasped. Bunny, is that you? The water was rising and Bunny was in danger. Ollie didn't know how to help when she remembered her umbrella. If only the magical breeze would blow again. Ollie closed her eyes tightly and wished and wished. Whoosh! She leaned out as far as she could, reached for Bunny and grabbed him just in time. I'm so glad you're safe, she whispered. But Bunny was very cold and they needed to find shelter. Pity patter, pity patter, pity patter. When the rain finally stopped, Ollie knew it was time to go home. She just didn't know the way. Maybe Bunny knew. He raced higher and higher up the tree until he reached the very top and leaped onto a passing cloud. What could Ollie do? She took a deep breath, opened her umbrella, and jumped too. Ollie and Bunny floated through the sky, amazed by all the different clouds they could see and how small everything looked below. Then with final whoosh, the breeze brought them down towards home. Can you believe the adventure we had, Bunny? Asked Ollie as they went inside, but he didn't answer. Ollie looked down and blinked. Bunny was a toy again. It was getting late, but there was just enough time for Ollie to read Bunny a story before bed. She carefully tucked his paddles inside the book to keep it safe. Night, night, Bunny, Ollie whispered sleepily. Bunny didn't reply, but as Ollie's eyes closed, she was sure she saw his nose twitch. Happy Easter. I hope you are able to enjoy this special holiday and be sure to take care of yourselves and each other.